When I came here, I found a great department that has increased in visibility over the last 20 years. What my idea is, is to bring this outstanding department to a different level. In order to do that, I kept the divisions that are traditional in pathology, such as anatomic and clinical pathology, but also added uh, divisions such as computational pathology, expanded the uh, translational research into a center for, uh, for translational research, and then added other divisions such as molecular pathology to fulfill the same vision. Computational pathology is very important because everything is shifting towards computation, is shifting towards big data. So the training of young pathologists needs to and must involve training in the analysis of big data. What I do is uh, all about supporting the clinicians and the scientists to try to make them as good as they can be, to give them the tools that they need in information technology to make the discoveries to take care of the patients. Dr. Loda has demonstrated uh, expertise across all of pathology and a really refreshing engagement in informatics of recognizing the value of what it is that we do and how we can take what we've been doing in clinical informatics and clinical research informatics and bring that together with initiatives that are from pathology more traditionally and also from this growing field of computational pathology and digital pathology to bring everything together. Data that goes into the electronic medical record is designed for care, it is not designed for research. So we then have to transform it in order to make it highly useful for medicine. We have to actually sort and filter to get to the core components that are relevant initially for care um, and then secondarily for the use by researchers. Because pathology touches everything across the healthcare system, and this is there's a huge push for this, especially in the Meyer Cancer Center, as we look to bring together so many different existing data collection and analysis efforts using so many of these existing different tools and services that we have, and augmenting them further with new types of data, especially from things like next generation sequencing. Experimental pathology is one of the most important divisions that we have. It's a basic basic science division in which discoveries are made, investigators are grant funded and use hypothesis driven research in pathology to inform translational research. Translational research is all the research that has an impact in human disease. I think the Center for Translational Pathology has a fantastic uh, roster of uh, investigators, technologies, machines, equipment, but more important, it has the know-how of what pathology is. We hope it will create this hub of innovation and create this impactful research that is needed in order to understand complex diseases like cancer. I frequently get the advice of my pathologist. There was another case recently where there was a patient who had a tumor in their brain and the biopsy showed one type of cancer and my pathologist said to the neurosurgeon, you know, I don't think this seems like a kidney cancer and then got involved myself as the medical oncologist and I said, you know, I don't think this is kidney cancer. I think you need to biopsy again. And they did a biopsy and it was lymphoma, which is a totally different prognosis from lymphoma which in the brain, which is still curable, to kidney cancer in the brain, which is not. There are certainly other areas in which pathology helps. COVID, for example, has been one of them. We were one of the first, if not the first, laboratory medicine pathology department in Manhattan to establish a test back in March of last year. And we have played a significant role in biobanking nasopharyngeal swab from patients with uh, SARS-CoV-2, in sequencing these strains and determining how effective the vaccine is in, indirectly together, obviously, with the infectious disease leaders. So that's an example. Virology and microbiology is an area that, that we in pathology are very prominent in. The COVID pandemic has 
been a major impact in the, in the hospital and in the department, and residents have been directly involved with a lot of the research that has gone on in those areas, both as first authors and also as collaborators in COVID-related research projects. Using these data sets that you know we didn't intend to support patient care, we ended up using those um, to identify all sorts of different laboratory results that were critical in understanding um, and helping to chart the, the, the course for how to go about uh, uh, treating COVID-19. You have to train the young pathologists to investigate, to understand what the limitations are of a particular disease, and if there are limitations, what to do about it. That requires an inquisitive mind and requires setting aside enough time for a fellowship, a year of fellowship, or hours during the day to dedicate to research. All pathology trainees now need to have a significant knowledge of molecular pathology, informatics, as well as computational pathology. And one of Dr. Loda's chief visions is to improve the department in those areas. We really need pathologists and physicians from all specialties to obtain training and experience with uh, data from electronic health record systems and other sources early and often. I don't think you can underestimate the investment in technology that's gone on here and how that really allows and encourages young physicians and young physician scientists to get involved and go to the lab. One of the things that makes Cornell unique is that we are completely subspecialized with a relatively young faculty who have interest and expertise in a variety of subspecialty areas. The faculty really engaged the fellows and the residents in research projects and getting involved in multidisciplinary conferences and so forth so that they feel like they're really members of the team. Once people come here, you realize there are so many opportunities to interact, so many opportunities to do great things, so many opportunities to be exposed to great ideas. You know, the Major Cancer Center department itself, the whole medical school, that is really, really, when you come here after one or two months, you feel like home. One of the things that I emphasize when I interview fellowship or resident candidates is the exceptional translational research program we have here that really sets Cornell apart from many other academic institutions. I enjoy what I do. I don't like to do the same thing over and over every day and I like to ask questions. Once I've answered the question that becomes boring to me. No day is the same as, as the prior day. What makes Max Loda a really good fit for Wild Cornell is he's a facilitator and facilitating research is really what makes you know, research run and hum and, and get to where you want to be. Dr. Loda has brought a collegial spirit, this collaborative spirit, and I really like where things are going and I'm excited about the future. People want to work with Dr. Loda. He's a wonderful man. His vision is compelling. That's really important as a leader because that's what gets people who are maybe caught in their silo looking at their particular problem to look up and see, oh, this is how my work fits in with that work and that work, and how together we can build something that is even bigger. I hope that pathology will continue to be central to the medical profession. And in order to do that, I think we need to maintain knowledge and skills and expand them to incorporate the new technologies and the new approaches that other disciplines are incorporating as well. Because if we incorporate them on a base of knowledge that is arguably larger than, than that of many other disciplines, then we can have and continue to have a prominent role in the care uh, of the patient.